Hi, my name is Carly. I'm from Australia, and today I'll be talking about the Disney International College Program. So, I had applied for merchandise and for a ride attendant, and I both got I got both of them. So, for the first uh, six months of the year, I will be a merchandise. Um, I don't know where. They leave that part till you get there, I'm told by a lot of other people who have done it before. So that should be really exciting. I don't know where I'm going to wear, but I think it'll be amazing wherever I wear. Um, and then yeah, I've got a position as a ride attendant for the last six months, or vice versa. Ride attendant for six months, in the last six months. So um just want to talk about the program today for those who don't know what the program is so what the program is it's called the Disney International College program so it's where you can go to Tate college or a uni you have to study for at least a minimum of one year in any trade or profession so I did hospitality and I did tourism a couple of years ago I'm currently doing hospitality now so um yeah, and then I went on one day to this website. It's called www.disneyinternationalcollegeprogram.com. Then you click on wherever you're from. So I was from Australia, so click on Australia, then Australia again. So basically, on that page, it just tells you all information about, um, like, where you'll be living, what the roles are like, what the Disney look is, and the Disney attitude, and all this other stuff. Um, It'll tell you about where you'll be living. So I've been looking on YouTube. There are four different places to look at, to live at, sorry. Um, there are the Vista Way Apartments, the Chatham Square Apartments, the Commons, and the Patterson Square. So I've seen a lot of people on YouTube being at the Chatham or at Vista Way so they look like the popular ones. Um, you have to choose between if you want say a two bedroom apartment which will mean that you have four people in your whole apartment up to I think there's goes up to about four bedroom apartment which means that you get eight people so looking at some of the YouTube videos I think it's really worthwhile because there are um, it just goes through all the apartments and what's in the apartment and so basically it looks like you have two beds in a room, you get a little vanity with a mirror, you get side tables, you get a huge huge wardrobe looking at them all and your own like bathroom in your room. There's a dining room uh, and a living room and a kitchen and in um, some of them there's um, like your own laundry within your apartment or they're just outside or down the hall or something like that. So yeah, um, so um, I, after going onto the website, you'll have to go and watch um, a video on the website, just called like the e-presentation on, on Disney, and I'll just go through all the roles and what uniforms and where you may be working and all that stuff, a bit of history, it's kind of boring. Except for when you meet Valerie, she'll go through some of the past um, applicants who have been there and they'll talk about their roles and how much they liked it and why they did it and everything. Um, so I got contacted by STB Pacific. Um, I was um, by Karina. She's very nice. So the first thing she did was got all my details about what I'm studying and why I'd like to go over there. Then we did a phone interview, um, to be truthful I can't really remember the phone interview, um, but it must have been good because I got in. Um, so j just be yourself, just be casual, um, and then after that I got in for a group interview. It was kind of just watching that same e-presentation over again, yeah. Then after that we had our own individual interviews where we got to talk to some of the Walt Disney World um, representative um, people and they just asked us questions like how do you think you'll handle living in an environment with strangers and um, will you be able to work in extreme conditions and what do you want to happen after the Disney company like once you finished. Um, some more questions along those lines. Um, just, just 
being yourself. Um, I dressed up, so I recommend dressing up so that way it shows that you, you can be professional and also you know how to well present yourself in a, in a way. Um, but before I had my interview, the lady asked me um, what would I like on my name badge. And, and I said, oh, I'll have dopey or happy or grumpy or whatever I want on my, whatever you would like on my um, badge, as long as this means I'm getting it. And we jokingly laughed. And I said, oh no, I'll have Carly on there. And then she was like, oh, what hometown would you like on it? So, because she thought I'd want Sydney. And I'm like, no, I want to embrace and support where I live. So I'm from Little Bay. So that's what I got. Um... After the interview, you'll probably wait about two or three weeks after and then I'll email you and let you know what you've got it in for and when you're going to be starting and um, basically you have to reply back and accept because I know some people who just thought they got in because they had an email saying, oh yes, you've got in, but they didn't read it down further saying that you need to accept. Please accept. Um... Then after that, she'll send you some forms. Um, the first one I did was for AFP, which is the Australian Federal Police. So that way they can check all your criminal background and everything. So um, that's the first step. So I've actually done that one pretty early, so I have to do it again because it's only valid for the first six months. And I'm going in the next seven, so I have to wait another two months before I, can I have to send it again. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please just comment on my video. Um, so I should be doing pretty regular vo uh, blogs once I get new steps each each time. So whenever they come, I'll do a new blog. And then if you get any questions, I'll do a new blog. Okay, if you don't want me to do any more blogs, just say so. Um, as I said, it's, this, is, this is not for me. This is for you guys. I know what I'm doing, so... Um, if you have, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it guys, I hope this brought you a lot of information, see ya.